Do you want to knock your SharePoint search out of the park? Then this video is for you. My name is Sabina and I am from a company called Origami, where I build SharePoint designs that are now used by almost a million users worldwide. And here in these videos, I want to share some lessons and strategies I've learned over the years to help you make your SharePoint brilliant. Let's go. Number one, if you want a better search, don't focus just on the search. Let me explain. When it comes to search, a lot of traditional experts focused on document search. So they suggest users to either keep document names detailed and descriptive or tag them to help SharePoint search pick them up. And it makes sense, but most users just don't have that much patience and they don't do these things consistently. So nothing changes. Besides, it's not just documents users are searching for. They look for all kinds of information. What's often overlooked is that there are quicker ways you can help users to find information without needing them to tag anything. For example, top navigation. Let me explain. We had this one customer where everyone in this company was complaining about SharePoint search. So we just made one simple change. We added a well-structured top navigation. And guess what? The search complaints went away within the month. We even captured a heat map to see what people are clicking on and saw that most people started using top navigation over search. So the first tip is to use top navigation and make it well-structured so it will grab attention and help users find what they need. And in case you're wondering, on this page, I use origami navigation to make it bolder and stand out. But even if you use just a standard SharePoint navigation, that's already a good start. Number two, group navigation links by function rather than department. So a lot of companies that had SharePoint for a while started using it by creating department sites and then adding related documents and links to those department sites. So for example, they would have HR department at the top and under it, you would see onboarding forms, links to benefits, handbook, etc. Then next to HR, they have finance link, which has its own content and so on. This can make your navigation really busy and hard to search. Now, an alternative is to group related content by topic. For example, here I have a link called employee resources. Then under employee resources, I have onboarding, benefits, and handbook, which all used to be under HR. But I also have payroll and expense links, training links, and so on, which before would have to live under their own department links. This way, my navigation is simpler because all content is grouped by topic rather than siloed under the department. If restructuring your navigation seems like a lot of work, then try this next item. Number three, add descriptions to your navigation links. Sometimes it can be hard to come up with the best names for navigation categories. So to help my users find what they need, I like to use descriptions under each major topic. I'm using origami navigation for this because standard SharePoint currently doesn't let you have a description here. This is a very common practice for public sites, so you might see many websites online use this design to give more clarity to their users. Number four, target your navigation. So let me tell you a story. We had this customer who literally had about 200 links in their navigation. Half of these links were pointing to team sites that only members of the sites could access. Over time, employees got used to what to click on. But this company was growing, new employees were coming, and they were totally lost. Can you imagine how frustrating it can be for a user to click on different navigation links only to get an error? You don't have permission to view this page. So the simple solution we gave them is target those private team sites only to be shown to those users who can access them. Such a simple concept. You can even use audience targeting in standard SharePoint for this. In my case, I used origami navigation to target links only to a select group of people. This is where I can select my Microsoft security groups. Okay, 
So far, we talked a lot about navigation. But employees come to SharePoint for things that you can't put in the navigation. Things like announcements, alerts, policies, and so on. Some of this might apply only to some departments, and others can apply across the organization. So my tip number five is to organize announcements and important resources into categories. Here's what I mean. Let's take a look at this section. See how I have my announcements broken down into people, news, events, press releases, and messages from leadership? Imagine if I had all of this just in one stream of content. Let's say there is an important leadership announcement from two weeks ago that I missed. I'll have to go through it all to find it. Even if I use the search box at the top, what do I even search for? Even if I try, I'll get tons of results, too many to find anything. Here, I'm using an Origami's New Center web part because how easy it is to show and search through content. I just click Messages from Leadership and I see exactly what I expected. Another web part I love for this, especially if you have more static content, is this Origami Tabs with Cards web part. You can show content with images or just minimalistic view like this. Both options make this page look great. All right, moving on to tip number six. Chunk long policies into smaller sections. Who likes to stare at the wall of text? Not me. But sometimes you have to somehow share a large document like a policy. So what do you do? You can chunk this document into smaller sections that are easier to jump to. You can use collapsible sections available in standard SharePoint that does a pretty good job. In my example, I'll use Origami Tabs web part to break down my employee onboarding policy into smaller sections. Each section will have its own tab. So instead of scrolling down a wall of text, I can just go to the tab I need. Here I have a bit of text and image and helpful links for more details. Not only this is easier to search, it also makes this page look so much better. And the last tip of the day, number seven, make it so important forms and templates are at users' fingertips. This is something I talk about a lot on this YouTube channel. I like to give users a one-stop shop library of the most needed resources. Forms, templates, policies and procedures, and maybe manuals. So instead of asking users to search for those things, I make them easily available in a single spot. You can use standard SharePoint document library for this, but currently you can't easily search a library and you can only see one library at a time. I like Origami Finder web part because you can show results from multiple libraries at once and it's nice that you can search or preview a document before you open it. So there you have it. These were my seven tips to knock your SharePoint search out of the park.